Both rubies and sapphires derive their colors from specific minerals within their chemical makeup. Corundum is an aluminum oxide, meaning aluminum and oxygen are the essential components to create a corundum crystal. Pure corundum is clear and creates a white sapphire. When tiny amounts of other minerals called trace elements are also present, they produce different colors. Iron is responsible for the widest range of colors in corundum. Iron creates yellow and yellow sapphires, while titanium and iron create blue and blue sapphires. Trace amounts of vanadium or chromium create the red of a ruby. In addition to their vivid red hue, some chromium-rich rubies have the ability to fluoresce under long-wave UV radiation. This response can also be a clue to a ruby's origin, as chromium-rich rubies often form in marble deposits in Burma, a historic source for high-quality gemstones. The dividing line between what constitutes a ruby or a pink sapphire is a thin one. If a corundum gemstone is highly saturated, it would be considered a ruby. But if the saturation is not quite as strong, it could fall within the pink sapphire category. There's something magical about the radiating color of a ruby. It's no wonder that rubies are the most expensive of all corundum colors.